Hello, I'm Chris, and this is my grill restoration video. So this is off my 1980 Chevy pickup, and these are the aftermarket chrome-plated plastic headlight buckets. Everything that we use in these videos is affordable. Anybody can do this stuff. So I always do some tests. We polish the chrome up with a steel wool, cleaned out the inside, masked it off, or just copy the factory color, argent silver. To me, it just doesn't show up enough. I just think that color is going to look better. So we'll show a little bit of straightening these up a little bit, polishing them up a little bit. Got some dance. So we're taking quadruple zero steel wool. We're cleaning up the chrome. So we have to get on this inside bevel. And then we have to make a little tiny piece and go inside this groove. On each one of these squares, every single one, it's gonna take a while. Get that scrubbed out real good so the grill is chrome plated and they went back and masked it off somehow and painted the entire square in there and the entire edge right there so we're going to duplicate that i would be super careful the way you clean these with a brush you might knock these things out with a pressure washer very difficult to clean i'm going to lightly sandblast them you see how we have two of these knocked out we are going to fix them in this video with pieces from a donor grill So we have a masked off. We're gonna lightly sandblast them. Just use less pressure. We're just trying to clean these up and get them ready for paint. We have the paint we're gonna use, medium charcoal metallic. Got a few light coats on there let's go ahead and see what it's looking like you can always go back and put more this is what we started with keep in mind we got to paint that top edge we'll do that last and this is what we have now we have headlight buckets these are aftermarket chrome plated plastic i like these better than the original i left them out for about six months so they look a little worn they look super cheesy super shiny when you first get them so it came sprayed with some kind of metallic in there but we're going to use the one to match the grill i did just wash these in bleach soap so they're clean So we're just kind of doing it like the factory did, just light thin coats. All right, we got to get all that masked off to spray that little textured area of black. That's what we're using. So now we have an idea what we have to do to our pieces let me go ahead and finish these things up so for the stainless trim we're going to flip it over we need to sandblast these brackets see how we caught it just in time now we're going to coat the crap out of it and paint So now that we have paint on it, that should buy us another 43 years. So for the stainless side, quadruple zero steel wool. Aluminum polish, I don't know, we'll try it. So just polish it as shiny as you want it. It's good enough for me. This is a very stiff piece. We just need to make this look a little bit better. These pieces are not very expensive, but I want to keep the originals. Got a bunch of metal stuff right here. We're just going to figure something out. Sometimes using a piece of metal to get down in there.
That's not how the tools use, dude. That was the bad dent. Spent 10 minutes on it. A foot away, two feet away, three feet away. Good enough for me. So now we're gonna repair the piece. Let's just cut it flat. We'll use the sanding block, 80 grit. This is an old piece. All right, wanna sand that flush or flat. All right, we're gonna clean the other side up with some steel wool. So the donor piece, we want it to fit in there like a puzzle piece, kind of snug. So be careful how you break it off. You don't want it to be too short. So now I'm going to sand it down until it fits perfect. Okay, it's, it's holding good enough. It's pretty much in there. So you want to clean all the areas up. So we're going to use the JB plastic weld. You're going to cut a little piece off. Then you're going to mix that together with your hands. So this stuff sands super easy. So don't be scared to use a lot. Work it in there real good. Don't worry about it squishing out. Just position it. Oh, you can feel this stuff getting hot. Both repairs are done. Now we have to sand that JB plastic weld off. So you're going to try different things to clean these up. Remember to flip the grill around. It might be easier to sand it from the back. Hair done right there light coat so I went back and masked the grill off and now we just paint every square on the inside so just to let you know that's why my videos are always messy because this table had nothing on it this was just a piece of plywood when I started now I want you to see every single little thing that has to come out when you actually do the work. We cut all these out of the donor grill. If you have a 1980 and you have some of these busted, let me know. I'll put some on eBay, you can buy them. So the stainless headlight trim rings, we're gonna steel wool them. You have to use quadruple zero steel wool. Do not use this coarse stuff. You will scratch the crap out of it. So for the headlight screws, I'm gonna try to find these. We're gonna sandblast and clean the screws up. For the headlight rings, I found some replacement screws. Those are all messed up. So the original lenses, I got new ones. We're not using these. If you have clear lens, you need an amber bulb. So we're not gonna be using the regular seal beams. We're gonna do a H4 halogen upgrade. One final touch. This is the die cast emblem. Has two speed nuts on the other side. Makes a world of difference. Obviously this is driver quality. How much money did we save and was it worth it? We saved a lot of money. So for 1980 to get that grill right there, but brand new, you have to buy about a $250 grill. It does not come with that emblem. It comes with a foil emblem and you have to buy that. That was $77 just for that emblem. So you're gonna spend about $350 just for that grill and emblem. If you want a new grill, we saved the old one. Now the Chrome isn't that shiny but i think once we get it on the truck it's going to look a lot better so the factory did the insides argent silver i never liked that look we went a little darker and then we matched it right here on the headlight bucket flat black on the little textured part the only thing that's new or aftermarket here are these two headlight buckets and the brand new emblem these were fairly cheap it was under fifty dollars for both of them shipping and everything so the next video we're going to be putting this on the truck we're going to go over all the clips and help you guys and girls understand how this stuff comes off and how to install it we have new lights with the h4 halogen bulb 
new lenses right there and hopefully this thing is going to look good on that old ugly truck if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching